Hey kitties and welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a todos. And for those of you who are new, I am your girl Ashley Alyssa and welcome to the Kitty Gang. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you would like to see more videos, go ahead and feel free to venture out into my past videos. So in today's video, we're taking it back to a video that I used to love watching and it was the what's in my bag, what's in my purse, kind of a tag or whatnot. So um, I haven't seen some of these videos in some time and I just figured, you know what, this is fun to do just to see like what people carry on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, it really kind of says something about your personality. So I was just like, you know what, let's just do one of these videos. Let's just have fun with it. And um, I recently got a purse uh, probably a few weeks ago and I haven't cleaned it out in a few weeks. So you guys are really gonna see what is in my purse on a day-to-day -day basis. So here we go. So the purse that I have is a little uh, book bag. Super cute, super cute. And this is a Steve Madden. It's kind of like a taupey grayish color with gold little accents. Super cute, okay? I actually purchased this purse at Ross and I got it for $20, so ching ching. So we're just gonna get into it and it's got one little pocket in, uh, in the front and then there's a big pocket. So first thing is a little Jessica Simpson wallet. And what's funny is that I had this wallet already, but it matched kind of like the same color. So winning. Uh, the next thing is my little red bag. This is one of my little Ipsy bags. I collected so many of these when I had the subscription. I kind of like paused it for a little bit because I had too many bags and I just had too much makeup and I was just like, let's stop this real quick. But these little bags are super cute um, and this bag, I literally mainly carry it for tampons. Yes, girls, I said it, tampons. We all get our monthly periods, you know, and um, I mainly just carry it like this because I feel it's a little classier than, you know, just being like, hey, let me just go and go to the bathroom with my tampon, <laughs> you know? Even though I have no shame because if I need to, it is what it is, but you know, it's a little classier to say, excuse me, I need to go to the restroom and you carry little tampons in here. So, um, I have, let's see, uh, five tampons. <laughs> There's five tampons of all sizes. I have regulars and supers. You just never know how flow is gonna go. That actually rhymed. <laughs> So that's good. Um, I have one of my favorite lipsticks and I'm actually really sad that it's gone forever and I wasn't able to get another set of it, which is from Morphe with the Orpha collaboration. I'm just so sad, but this is one of my favorite lipsticks and I always carry it with me. So Orpha, you're with me all the time. Um, of course, the lip liner, the matching lip liner, which is one of these. And I'm telling you, it is so bomb. That lipstick and this liner, sometimes you could just wear the lipstick by itself, or you could wear the liner by itself, or combine them, or just play around, but it's so creamy. It's bomb. The next thing is my Laura Geller, and this is Gilded Honey Gloss. Ugh. This gloss, I absolutely love the highlight, which is my Gilded Honey highlight by Laura Geller. What is wrong with me? I keep burping. I just came from the movies and I had a lot of popcorn, so I think that might be it. But anyways, um, this is the lip gloss. I purchased this, I would say, probably about a month or two ago, and I'm literally almost done with it. Like I use it all the time. It is just so pretty. It's so glossy. Every time I wear it, people are just like, I love the way your lips look. So I don't know if you guys could see, but it literally looks just like the highlight. Amazing. Amazing. So of course I carry that one with me. It, by itself is awesome. Pairing it with like another liquid lipstick, it looks really good. But just by itself, I love to just pop that on, go to the gym and your lips are popping. 
I actually just added this the other day. Um, it's the sample by it, Co it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. And this is an airbrush silk pressed anti-aging finishing powder. And um, this is awesome because actually it's cruelty free, no parabens and no talc. Um, talc. I said, I said that's so weird. Um, talc. I don't know, whatever, talc, talc, whatever. <laughs> it has a no talc in it. Um, and this was actually just given to me by one of my clients. She gave me like a little goodie bag of a bunch of samples from Sephora. And um, Fee, if you're watching, thank you, mama. Um, and so she gave this to me and I was just like, oh, you know what? Sometimes I get a little oily, so maybe I could just tap this on. Um, and this is how it looks. Ooh. Oh, it has a little sponge and everything. Look at that. So cute. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I just threw it in there because, you know, it's starting to get a little hot here in Florida. And a girl's going to be looking a little greasy. No, you can't. You got to look dewy, but you can't look like, you know, you just got out of a frying pan or something. You want to look like a glazed donut. You just don't want to look like a chicken wing, okay? Okay. <laughs> So that's what's in this little bag. Wow. This has definitely been here for a while. <laughs> With my allergies and stuff, and I had gotten a little sick, I had a bag of Ricola, all right? Um, they are cloth drops and there's nothing in them. So yeah, let's put that in the trash where it belongs, not in my bag. Apparently I think that my bag is a trash can. <laughs> this right here is a written warning. Um, drive safe, guys. I was rushing to work one day and I got pulled over and got a written warning. Thank gosh. But yeah, I was like, no, not right now. I can't afford a freaking ticket. But the guy was really nice to me and he understood that I was on my way to work. So he was real cool and he's just like, he is a written warning, girl. Don't be driving crazy. So please drive safe, guys. You know, I have one, two, three, four dollars in there, just thrown in there. Um, I have this little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works and I don't know which one this one is. But yeah, it's super cute. I've had this for a while. It's a little monkey. She's a little dirty. Um, I have a lotion, which is my Victoria's Secret. Very sexy lotion. This is an OG. It's been around forever and I absolutely love it. Um, people tend to give it to me for Christmas all the time. So I'm like, yeah, bring it on. Love these. And I have the spray, which is super low already. But don't worry, I have a backup. I actually have the perfume and then I have the body splash. So I just carry the body splash. Cause you know, you gotta stay fresh. You gotta smell good all the time. Next is a, I have a brightening toner in here. This is a brightening toner from Repassage. Um, I've worked with this skincare line and I absolutely love the brightening like bio light line. So I keep this, you know. So fresh and so clean, clean. I like to just spray it on. <gasps> I like literally. <coughs> I inhaled it. <clears throat> um, and I just made like a little spot on my makeup. So cute. Pause. Let's take a moment. Okay, because if I'm seeing this, I know you guys can see this. This little monster, this beast decided to just make its home there. And um, yeah, so I know it's there. Sorry. But besides this thing, can we just talk about the fact that I look like a little glazed donut? This highlight. 
is everything. I love that wet look. I love that dewy look. And I have combination skin, so I tend to get a little oily in the T-zone, sometimes even like right in here, but I don't care. I like to look like a little glazed donut. Next is my cover effects, and obviously I've used it so much that you can't even like read the uh, the words on there, or the letters, I can't even talk. And this is in, I believe, N50 or N60. Um, the sticker came off. I've had this. I have so many cover effects. Like, this is how much I love it. I've hit pan, you know? I've hit pan on all these powders. This is really the only powder that I use, you know, not setting powder, but to like usually set my foundation or if I'm just gonna wear any type of powder. This is definitely my go-to. I have used different ones, but I love how finely milled this one is. You could wear it by itself. You can lay it on top of your foundation just to set it and it's not gonna cake it or anything of that sort. So if you haven't tried Cover FX powders or foundations, you need to get on it. And they're amazing because they are a vegan and cruelty-free um, you know, type of brand. It doesn't have any mineral, no talc, you know, nothing like that. It's definitely really clean, so it's great for anyone who is acne prone or more on the sensitive side or just doesn't want to use any products that it just has a bunch of shit in it. Like, no, no, use this. Uh, another tampon. <laughs> It was um it was that time of the month like this week this past week so you guys are probably like why does she have that many tampons but it's literally because Aunt Flo was in town and yeah um receipts and this is from Publix some change um a lighter. I found a pink lighter. All right. Now in the front little pocket, I found a stick of five gum. This is uh, this is actually Ebony's gum. She loves this this gum. More change. Um, a band aid because you just never know. And I always need band aids in my purse because certain types of shoes or sneakers or whatever like my the back of like my heel is super like sensitive and thin that any type of rubbing will cause it to like blister so I have this alcohol swabs I usually keep these um, around just to clean like my phone or whatnot because you know constantly putting your phone on your face may be causing like breakouts or whatnot and you're just constantly touching your phone and you have germs in your hands and putting that on your face that's what can cause breakouts as well my next thing that i have i have my costco card uh my movie pass card and my cosmo prof card and my debit card and that is it guys that is it so that is what is in my purse not very interesting but um yeah i just wanted to let you guys know what was inside my purse i wanted to just come back with a very light video something different something fun these were some of my favorite videos to watch and i just kind of wanted to take it back a little bit so if you guys want to see more videos let me know what you guys would like to see don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I thank you all so much for watching. I will see my kitties very, very soon.